Hey everyone and welcome to week 40 of the OLED burning test. This is a weekly burning test that I run on my LG C9 OLED as you can see from the model name up here. Uh, UTT which is the hours used, uh, not much usage th this past week so 1553 hours on this particular panel. The OLED compensation count which is the mini pixel refresh it runs after every four hours of continuous use is 293 so that's 293 instances of four hours or more constant use and one major pixel refresher was run uh, by myself right towards the start uh, of ownership. So with that I'll exit out of that and I will restart the test. So as I say this past week I've, there's not really been a lot of usage um, just while it comes into focus. I'll try and lock it in get the exposure right. So there's not been too much uh, usage this past week. Um, a little bit of gaming. Gaming is probably the m main thing. Uh, last weekend we did watch uh, Mandalorian episode. So that was episode three. And we also watched, um, I think it was one, one movie as well. There wasn't really much sport on last week because of international break. Um, and for those of you who haven't seen this series before, this isn't being filmed the week that you see it. Um, all of these are filmed basically weekly. And then because of how I publish the videos, I just schedule it for every Friday thereafter. So today is actually Saturday the 21st of November. Um, you will be seeing this probably sometime in New Year, just by the fact that I've got that many videos actually queuing that it's ended up pushing it back. Um, as I say, for those who are maybe seeing this video for the first time, thanks very much for watching. Um, if you haven't already done so, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Um, the reason for these videos is basically just to give people a better idea in terms of OLED TVs in real world usage. Now, because of um, next gen consoles coming out, OLED TVs were pushed to the forefront of basically perfect TVs for next-gen gaming for, for the simple reason that OLEDs have such brilliant, um, well, perfect contrast, um, infinite contrast as it's, as it's described because they, they switch off completely individual pixels. So you get perfect contrast, but they also have a native one, 120 hertz panel um, and they have virtually indistinguishable um, pixel uh, response time. So that's not the same as input lag, but even input lag is probably industry, industry leading in terms of being the lowest across the board. Um, these are just things that are native with OLED panels, but obviously with OLED panels, the worry is always the fact that um, the myths surrounding them and the paranoia surrounding them is you can't use an OLED panel for gaming because you'll get burning. Now this particular panel, as I said, um, I think it was 1553, so 1,553 hours on this particular panel. Most of that, um, I'd say I was working it out and probably about at least a thousand of those hours are actually gaming. Um, and most of those 1,000 hours are Fortnite. So basically one, one game with loads of static content on the screen. And as you can see, 1,500 hours later, well, at least a thousand hours later, because obviously there's that other five, 500, but that 500 is probably mostly made up of sports, football. Um, football, once again, will have static elements towards the top right. Uh, they'll always have it either the top left or the bottom left. Um, scorecard is normally in those regions. And then either the top right or the bottom left, you'll also have the the logo of whichever, whichever um, channel is actually broadcasting the, the event. So I, I do use this as my primary uh, TV for basically sports as well. Um, and then other than that, it's whenever we have TV series, maybe on Netflix, something like that, where it's in Dolby Atmos and uh, Dolby Vision. If it's got Dolby Vision, then I'll, I'll normally try and watch it in this room simply because I've also got the soundbar set up. This is a 7.1.2 setup. Um, it was the flagship 2019 um, soundbar setup from LG. So in combination, obviously, it gives you a really good m movie and TV viewing experience. So for that reason, obviously, any, any major things we're going to watch in here, any, anything that's basically maybe not, not, not in HD, not in 4K, um, not do uh, HDR, essentially, 
those kind of things we'll, we'll usually just watch in the other room. Um, but yeah, it's, it's had mixed usage. Um, I have several channel, uh, videos on my channel about burning, um, better understanding why I don't really worry about it and what mitigations I put in place in order to try and just set it and then forget about it. So the TV is literally just used as any other TV. Um, we don't baby it, we don't um, disable all the hoods, we don't zoom into the image or anything like that. Um, it's literally um, set it up once and then forget about it. And this video is basically being recorded on my iPhone 12 Pro Max in HDR. Um, YouTube at the moment is being really finicky with HDR content, even though I've tried multiple formats, HDR 10, HLG, uh, P3, 10-bit, they all seem to be a bit hit and miss in terms of whether they work on certain devices or not. Um, I will be uploading all my videos going forward in HDR, um, in HLG format, because that is the one that most people advise is compatible with YouTube. So this video will be uploaded in HDR. So obviously if you have a HDR compliant display, then watch this back in HDR and that'll give you a better impact, uh, impression in terms of what the panel actually looks like. Obviously it's never gonna be quite what I'm seeing, um, but it'll be, it'll be closer than watching this back in SDR, which flattens out the image quite a bit and you never really get the idea in terms of how bright this panel is. Um, that's something that obviously I've had discussions with uh, people in the comments and they all, they all want to set OLED light to 100 um, and basically you just don't need to. For the most part, you just don't need to because the panel is bright. Okay, so that's the test done. As I say, it's a weekly test that I do. I always run this same um, video simply because this is the one that I ran right at the beginning. So obviously check in weekly. Um, as I say, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon. I, my videos vary across the board for all things tech. Um, so yeah, just come, come follow the channel. And if you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below. Thanks very much for watching.